Comment ça vous avez dit que vous avez dit The motherfucker Goose Creek Savage Osa Mason The Goose Creek Gremlin Is being sued by Iron Maiden That's right man The rock band The legendary rock band Iron Maiden Let's be real though Can you guys name 5 Iron Maiden songs? I can't but you know From what I've heard over you know My life my life of living, you know, Iron Maiden is a pretty big band. So basically what happened, somebody from, somebody went on Reddit, you know, they threw it up on some like r slash rock music, r slash classic rock, something like that, right? They posted, yo, there's this underground rapper, Osa Mason, aka the Goose Creek Gremlin. He straight up stole Iron Maiden's cover art. Basically all he did was change the color around, but if you look at it closely, they did kind of change the artwork, but it's pretty much the same artwork. All they did was change the color. And let's be real, this is like some lazy Photoshop. Like, whoever his, uh, did his artwork, like, come on, you guys gotta come up with something better. At least grab some inspiration from the, art in, from the Iron Maiden artwork. But this is like a straight up blatant ripoff. And especially, like, Osa Mason, like, he is technically like an underground rapper, but he's still being streamed by millions. Basically... This led to Osa Mason saying, yo, I'm being sued by Iron Maiden. I gotta take the cover art down. Which, thank God, honestly, that cover art was pretty much trash. It's like some shit you would have made when you were like in sixth grade or something. You know, you grab a cool image that you found online and you just change the color and you're like, yep, this is my design. Horrible, horrible artwork. I never liked it, but like I saw the vision, you know, it's a cool, it's a cool art, but straight up it's a ripoff it's a bootleg he also said basically he said you guys are reaching too much into my personal life you know the underground fans they are unforgiving they will find out everything about you from the past and most of these dudes are like maybe like late teens early 20s so you know most of their life could be on the internet you know people you got people going on like their mom's facebook or like finding old youtube videos that they made and stuff you know the underground fans are always and have always been dedicated they will find the oldest thing about you stuff you didn't even know about yourself stuff that you left in the past and they'll dig it up and bring it back up and recently which is the day i'm recording this i posted a video of osa mason i guess he used to go around school doing pranks and basically he was like uh heads or tails with females if uh it lands on heads you give me a kiss if it lands on tails i smack that ass if it lands on heads, you gotta give me a kiss on the cheek. If it lands on tail, you get to smack that ass. And uh, yeah, super old video of Osa Mason that the fans dug up. Like, I'm gonna be real, I have no clue how the fans, the supporters, the underground masses found that shit. Like, that is absolutely insane. You gotta feel bad for Osa Mason. You know, people are digging up his past. Like, this is, I guess, a part of being a star nowadays. Like, people are gonna dig up old stuff. The thing is, Osa Mason on, like, his spam page or whatever... He's really like outspoken, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but basically he lets the supporters know how he's truly feeling. Basically like a Facebook status update or like a tweet, but he does it on his Instagram story. So he's very vocal when it comes to this whole like music scene stuff. But back to the artwork stuff, I find it kind of ironic that Iron Maiden is suing him because if you think about it these rock bands back in the day they are known for not giving a damn about anything you know being real reckless and now they're suing this random black kid from goose creek but i don't think it's literally iron maiden like the band members going out of the way to sue this osa mason guy and at the same time you can't straight up steal artwork that's like kind of wrong but you guys you know what i mean basically like what happened to all the edge but iron maiden of course they are a commercialized rock band and of course like the company that is behind iron maiden whoever you know is rocking with them of course they want to sue osa mason basically they feel as if osa mason's team is making money off of st their stolen artwork you know copyright shit you know internet stuff but you know at the same time you got to feel bad for osa mason and also i do not think this is a big deal this is uh giving osa mason a chance to show more of his originality like come up with some better artwork bruh like, that Iron Maiden was not it, but, you know, at the same time, like I said, you gotta feel bad for dude. Like, his personal life is being, like, dug up. But, honestly, like, I don't think it's anything to feel bad about, because, like, that is not that bad. You know, digging up old videos of him. And I guess they even dug up, like, an old video of him, like, 
unwrapping Christmas present, which I think is absolutely insane. But it's just him being a kid. It's not like he was doing anything malicious. Like, at most, it's cringe. But is it really cringe since he was just like a younger person, a younger version of himself? Oh, so Mason, he's trying to keep this whole persona. He has this whole aura where, like, you know, he's trying to be as cool as possible to his supporters. But like I said, I feel like digging up old stuff won't affect them too much. Because it's probably only like 10% of his fan base actually seeing that old stuff on Twitter, etc. And yeah, pretty much wraps up this video. What do you guys think? Iron Maiden sues Osa Mason and the underground fans are digging up his past. Leave a comment down below, you know, share your opinion. You know, here on Deal with Cheese, we like to share our opinions. We like to be very vocal. We like to express ourselves, you know. Go on an unfiltered rant in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at deal.cheese. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.